Hi everyone, I did a poll on Instagram asking my followers whether they want a video on how to mix prints. 80% said yes, and that's why I have five tips for you today on which prints will always look great together. And hopefully at the end of the video, you'll be bold and mix some print pieces from your wardrobe that you wouldn't have worn together before. The most important tip is coming towards the end of the video. It's also the easiest tip and one that goes for really every print piece you own. So make sure you stay till the end. And uh, with some of these mixes, I'm sure you'll be saying, I wouldn't have thought that these prints would look that good together. <laughs> If you liked today's video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you love fashion, I upload fashion videos here once a week. I talk a lot about what's in and out and how to combine the latest trends with pieces from your own wardrobe. And all the pieces I'm showing you today are linked in the description box underneath the video. And I do that in every video, by the way. Then let's start with the first tip. Stripes go with everything. You can actually see stripes like a plain colored piece. You can mix them in the same way, especially if you have thin stripes where you can't really see exactly which color it is if you don't come really close. And it especially goes for striped pieces with a neutral background like white or beige. And if you have a thicker stripe, then just make sure that one of the colors in this stripe is repeated in the printed piece you're mixing with the stripe piece. As you can see here, the black in both prints just kind of pulls together the whole look. This is a great way to make old stripe pieces from your wardrobe look more exciting. Mix them with a modern print like a scarf print or an animal print. Tie-dye print is very on trend this summer and they just look much more stylish than if you just mix them with a pair of jeans, for instance. Next tip, mixing black and white will always work. As you can see, I've mixed a geometric print here with stripes and I've also mixed an animal print with stripes. It always looks good. Actually, these are not really black and white. They're black and beige, but it's, it's the same thing as beige is a neutral color, just like white is. So if you're mixing black and white, it doesn't really matter what prints you have. It could be polka dots, a gingham print, animal print, checks, whatever, anything goes. What you can do if you're putting together an office look, you could wear a black blazer, so one neutral piece to tame, to just to tame it a little. Next tip, wear one print in two different colors, like I've mixed these two snick print pieces here. And um, obviously you won't probably have two snake print pieces in different colors in your wardrobe. But what you might have is a lot of stripe pieces that you can mix together that you probably haven't done or maybe haven't done before. So try it out. And as I said, if you've got very thin stripes on a neutral background, you can really mix them with anything. So you can mix broad stripes with thin stripes in different colors, anything goes again. This tip works very well with basic prints like stripes, polka dots, or gingham prints. It doesn't work that well with floral prints because you don't really have similar floral prints in different colors very often. But what you can do is wear a monochrome print piece and then mix it with a colorful print piece where one of the colors in the monochrome print is repeated. Next tip, try mixing contrasting prints. For instance, a feminine floral paisley blouse with a masculine pinstrap piece. Or you can mix a playful animal print with bold stripes. Mixing these contrasting prints will just give your outfit some edge. And again, it doesn't really matter which prints you're mixing, as long as one of the colors in the prints is repeated in the other, or they add their identical colors, or they're in the same range of colors. And that is actually also my last tip, match colors, not prints. And that's the easiest tip, one you can really remember. And it goes for every print. You can mix any print you want, just make sure that the colors are repeated, or the colors are in the same color range. Like for instance, you're mixing an off-white with beige or with brown, or you're mixing different types of blue. By types, I actually mean shades of blue. And make sure you're mixing two shades that have the same color temperature. Not even sure if you say that in English, color temperature. But what I mean is avoid mixing a warm petro blue, for instance, with a cool royal blue. Mixing cool and warm tones looks good with plain pieces, but with printed pieces, it can just be a bit too much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you like wearing prints or even have already been mixing prints or if you're more into plain colored pieces. I didn't wear prints at all up until I think three years ago. I hated prints. But the last few years, we've just seen some very beautiful prints like the scarf prints that have been on trend since last year or the animal prints. I love the paisley prints, tie-dye prints. So I have been able to resist prints and I've been starting to mix them and hopefully I've inspired you to do so too and hope to see you next week. Bye!